Hello, and welcome to Music She Missed, the podcast which chronicles my best friend's discovery of some of the most popular artists and songs which impact our lives. And have apparently bypassed me. I'm Allison. Hi, I'm Rachel. And we are the hosts of Music She Miss. Rachel, why don't we start by talking a little bit about who we are and why we're doing this podcast? Um, so, um, Allison and I have known each other for about 10 years. Um, we've lived together for, um, as roommates three times. Three times, yep. Yep. Um, we've been in both of each other's weddings. Mm-hmm. We're really good friends. Oh, very good friends. And yet, over the past decade of our friendship, you have not cease to amaze me <laughs> with your lack of musical awareness. Can, I, can you talk about that? And the sad thing is I know very much so that you love music. That's true. I but do. But it still has not sunk into me. So um, we're hoping that this podcast is kind of fun as you get to teach me about some of the music that I apparently shouldn't have missed. Yeah, you have a lot of music to learn. Um, Like you mentioned, I love listening, dancing, singing, playing guitar. But what would you say is your primary experience with music? What's the main music you listen to when you do? I wouldn't say I listen to much music. If I listen to any music, um, out of a course of one week will be enough of when I'm listening right before church service. Of That's about it. I don't listen to any music in the car. I like silence in the car. Um, That's a sad life you lead. I'm so sorry. It's just, (laughs) I actually like it. Um, And then I hear music maybe in the restaurant, if I'm in a restaurant, or if I'm, yeah, that's about it. But even in the music in the restaurant, I'm not really listening to it, nor do I remember it. But lately, you've been showing a lot more curiosity about learning about music. Yes. You've been sending me texts like, do I know any music by the Doobie Brothers? I'm I don't know, do you? You've <laughs> asked me if you can spell ABBA with lowercase letters, if Sting was in the police. Oh, I remember learning about that from you. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, I never knew about that. So, um, as you've been asking me all these questions, I thought it would be fun for us to create this podcast and let some other people in on your charming responses to musical queries and join us as you explore um, the music that's so impactful and powerful in so many people's lives. And my hope is that you will come to appreciate and And enjoy and maybe love the music that everybody else loves. (laughs) I don't know. I might still like Silence in the Car. We'll see. We will see. Uh, So the general format for our podcast is every week we'll do a big reveal of the artist you'll be listening to. You won't know who it is. It will be a surprise. And you will also give your familiarity rating on a scale Mm -hmm. of one to 10 Mm -hmm. to tell the audience how much you think you might know about that artist um, before you listen to any other music. Then you're gonna have some homework. Ooh, homework. You already know what it is. Why don't you tell them? Um, Maybe you don't know what the homework is. We're listening to Spotify music. Right. I'll create a Spotify playlist for you <laughs> with all, the, it's okay. Uh, this uh, playlist will have all their greatest hits in about an hour that you need to listen to every day. Okay. For one week. And then we'll come back together. But for the audience, it'll just feel like a moment. And we'll talk about your perceptions, likes, dislikes, and you will give us another rating on how likely it would be that you would listen to this music again. Yeah. Or let my daughter listen to it or actually maybe replace the silence in my car. Maybe. (laughs) So uh, are you ready for our first reveal? I am kind of a little nervous, but I'm excited. I think it's going to be okay. This is a really palatable band. You shouldn't have any problems. Are you ready? Let's do a drum roll. Drum roll. It's you too. Okay. Uh, Yeah. So Rachel, um, (laughs) you too. You too. What do you know about you too? Um, so you know, I'm really being honest. I'm not familiar with music, so there's some stuff that I will say that you will probably think, oh my goodness, Rachel. Just tell me. Let's just talk about you two. When I think of you two, I think of Rachel Green from Friends. Why? <laughs> well, there's this one scene in a Friends episode that I think she's looking off into the distance of the rain falling down. Okay. 
and I think there's U2 music in the background. I think. <laughs> Okay, so right so, now you're telling me that I associate you two with an episode of Friends. Um, you think maybe a U two song was in a Friends episode? Yes. I don't have any knowledge about that, so we can um, clarify that later. <laughs> but can you tell me anything else about them? Their albums? Anybody in the band? Any songs by them? I think they're more rock and roll. Okay. Wait. Yes. They're not heavy metal. That would be a true statement. Okay. Good. Um. At least getting a E for effort on that one. Um, it's mostly gentlemen, male singers. Okay. And there is so lyrics to the music. Okay. Um, it's okay. not instrumental. Okay. Um, it's a faster beat maybe. Do, do you know it? anything like where they're from, the names of the people in the band? Can you name any song by you two? Like any song? Uh, I wish audience you could see her face. <laughs> Um, I feel like I should. Okay, I'm gonna throw some titles at you, and you can just tell me if those if sound YouTube familiar or something. Else. No, okay. it will be you too. You okay. just tell me if it sounds familiar to you. All right, okay? I'm ready like, for this. Where the streets have no name. Huh? I didn't know that. No, I've never okay. even heard those um, titles. In the name of love, pride. In the name of love. Pass. Pass. Okay. Um, <laughs> how about the sweetest thing? Beautiful day. Oh, yes. Wait. I think so. Be Beautiful day. Yeah, don't sing anymore. I think don't that's about it because I don't know the rest and I don't even know if I'm doing the right tune or. Yeah, people usually play that at like wedding receptions when they come in. That might be where you might have heard that song at some point. I don't know. Okay, so on a scale of one to 10, where would you put your current knowledge of you two? Um, um, I need to clarify. The Bone Bono guy. Is that in you two? Bono? Bono, yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. He, he is the lead singer of U2. So we can we now know this is not a one on a scale of one okay. to ten. This is That's more like good. a two. And he has always sang with them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So he doesn't sing by himself. Like he's not He's like the front man for U2. Okay, cool. Um he doesn't play the drums, I guess. No. His front men don't usually play the drums. No. He's probably a guitar or just vocals, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. You're really just guessing at this point. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to let you listen to our Spotify playlist of yes. some of the hits. U2 has so many hits, it was hard for me to pare them down to under an hour, so I did an hour 15. Okay. And I probably could have done, we could have done a double episode because U2 has that many hits. They've been around for 30 years. They're, they have... Uh, 13 albums, 13 studio albums, live albums, Grammys. So I'm going to let you listen to that. And then we will be back with our items in just a couple moments. Awesome. Thanks. Good luck. And we're back. Rachel, you've spent the week listening to you too, and we'd like to remind our listeners that you can check out what Rachel listened to on Spotify by searching for Spotify colon user colon music she missed. So what do you think? You too. Well, I actually, there's a few things. Okay. One thing, I like you too. Okay. I like them as a band in general, but there are certain songs that I actually didn't like. And that's and that's fair. Before that's fair. We, before we talk about those, I do want to give you some mad props and justify you for your keen observation from season three of Friends. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Woohoo! Rachel Green sitting in her apartment. She's looking out a window, it's raining, and it's the one where they're on a break, you know, oh, and Ross yes, requests the famous break, and he requests with or without you, and she's listening to it in that episode. Yes. How you know that is you too boggles my mind, but mad props for yeah, knowing that, so. Yeah, um, I like Friends. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's my most favorite um, show, but, um, yeah, that's okay. You two is not my most favorite band. Okay. But... Um, but all right. So you said you, you liked them as a band. What were some of the songs that you liked the most and why? Okay. 
so there is my favorite song that I honestly makes me want to buy the album. Okay. So that's really cool. It's stuck in the moment you can you can't get out of. Yeah, from um, all that you can't leave behind. That was my most favorite song. Mm -hmm. uh, my least favorite song was New Year's Day. That surprised me. I thought it was going to be Sunday Bloody Sunday. Really? Um, yeah, New Year's Day was the one that I was like, oh my gosh, is this song over yet? Just so I can accomplish and say that I listened to it okay. for the 50 millionth time. Can you say what about New Year's Day you didn't like? I honestly didn't like the song. I didn't like the lyrics. I didn't like the instrumental part of it. I didn't like how it riffed. I didn't like, I just screaming. honestly, yeah, I didn't like the screaming. I honestly just didn't like it. Okay. And it made me feel like, but I will say this. It didn't make me say, oh, sign off of you too. Oh, okay. You know, okay. so I wasn't like a complete sign off to a point where I'm like, I'm never listening to this band again. It just made me not want to listen to that specific song. And that's allowed. That is allowed. Everyone has songs, even from their favorite band, that they don't always love. <laughs> so I don't know what you found out about you 2 while you were listening, but they are um, from Ireland. And the name Bono actually uh, comes... Not Bones. Not Bones. Mm. Bono actually comes, supposedly, legendarily, comes from a legend meaning good voice. Was like, he legally named Bono? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, so that's his nickname. Yeah, this is like a name that he assumed. Oh, really? What's yeah. his real name? Paul David Hewson. Huh. Paul's his first name. I know someone with the first name Paul. That's my husband. Yeah. Maybe I should nickname him Bono. I don't think that would go over very well with your husband. I don't know. He might like it. I'll have to ask him tonight. Good luck with that. Okay. Uh, um... <laughs> Uh, other information about the band is they're really well known for their social activism and humanitarian efforts. In the 1980s, they created Band Aid and Live Aid, Live Aid, or like participated in those to raise money for famine in Eastern Africa. They also have spent a lot of time raising awareness about HIV/AIDS and helping victims of Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Rita. Mm. So um, this makes them often, sometimes. Not everybody likes you too because it's almost preachy, maybe, or a little bit like when celebrities get really into social causes, you know. So I'm glad that you like them now, but you should be aware that um, some people love to hate you too. Hmm. One example of this is that their most recent album, Songs of Innocence, was automatically downloaded onto everybody with an iTunes account a couple of years ago. Automatically? Yeah, like you just got it for free. And I guess they oh. thought, hey, we're a super popular band. Everyone will want our music and lots of people are really angry. And if you Google that, you will find on the iTunes website, learn how to remove the iTunes gift album, Songs of Innocence, from your iTunes music library and purchases. <laughs> because oh my people goodness. were people were really annoyed. So even though they are really popular, they're not always that popular gotcha. does that make sense but they are popular enough that itunes would give them for free that's kind of nice <laughs> very generous yeah you did send me a couple questions about their lyrics and about yeah. some of the content do you want to chat about that sure okay so when i was listening to i still haven't found what i'm looking for mm -hmm. they talk about this tree um, specifically a Joshua tree. So the Joshua tree is the name of the album. Uh-huh. Okay. And, um, it just made me wonder, mm -hmm. what is this tree? Is this like the biblical Joshua tree? Was it a person they knew? Was it them themselves? Yeah. Cause at this point when I'm listening to, you know, you two, I don't even know if Bono has his given name at this point. So I'm thinking maybe his name is really Joshua. I don't know his call. But yeah, I'm just like, where is this Joshua tree? Try yeah. to follow the lyrics. So help me out on this. So if you so if you read the lyrics to that song, that's a really spiritual song. Mm -hmm. It's a really Christian I song. That. I mean he talks about carrying the cross of my shame. So mm -hmm. um but this album was originally conceived to be a like more of a critique of America. They love our ideals but not always the choices the government was making during that time in the 80s. Huh. So there, uh, they saw it, an, another possible name for the album 
was like desert songs or two Americas. So that tree, that's the actual name of that kind of tree that's grown in the desert mm -hmm. is what Wikipedia told me. And it's called a Joshua tree because when like Mormons were like moving out there, they thought it looked like Joshua holding his hands up. So it probably has a lot of meanings for them. I think that is part of their intention. So it's, you're saying you two has a Christian background. Yes. Both yeah. Catholic and Protestant being in and Ireland. Catholic and Protestant, mm -hmm. but has nothing to do with Mormonism? No, no, no. That's just the Mormons named the tree. Gotcha. When okay. they were traveling then, through the desert. Yeah. So still what I'm looking for is just talking about going into the desert and having this tree reveal what they're looking for. I don't know. That's one okay. of those things about that song to me is that it's a song about like searching for uh -huh. and understanding your spiritual beliefs. So it's like, I do believe, but help me overcome my disbelief. Maybe that kind of, uh -huh. you're looking, you're searching, but you have this foundation. That's my impression okay. of those of those lyrics. And there are a lot more of their songs that have, um, and they have a song called Yahweh. You know, they mm -hmm. have some really um, religious messages in their songs. Because that was the other one you texted me about. You asked about pride in the name of love. Mm -hmm. And what was your question about that song? Like, it was a good song. Yeah, I like that one. There was a lot of, a lot of screaming in the name of, of love part, which um, <laughs> okay. I wasn't the biggest fan of the screaming part. Okay, okay. Um, Bono, I guess, just... Well, it's like a rock song. Yeah, you know, he was it's power. at that point in yeah. the lyrics. And so, I don't know if it's just me. I don't like screaming in general. Or just screaming in songs, or just screaming in this specific oh, song. You're so not gonna like some of the other bands I have lined up for you. Ooh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> um, but um, specifically about this, you were asking who is the person? You yeah, know? still trying to figure out the man on the beach kind of thing. Like, yeah, who is that man? Um, so I'm kind of curious about the man on the beach. He just made me wonder who was this guy. So there are three verses in this song. Mm -hmm. um, the song is generally about Martin Luther King Jr. Really. Yeah, the last stanza that's it says early morning April four shot shots yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It was actually not in the morning, but it is is a direct reference to well, yeah. to um his assassination. But there are also references or allusions to Christ and like Gandhi. But the one the beach one is a little bit vague. I couldn't quite figure out which one man that is. But the man betrayed with a kiss is obviously Jesus. Christ. Well, yeah, the man that was yeah. betrayed was Jesus. But he was right. Betrayed by so, Jesus. but I think that the song overall just stands for people like these men who, you know, have pride, not the bad kind of pride, but like the pride where it's like what you believe in and your... They have faith they have and conviction. They yeah. They have a stand that they... Exactly. They're very strong in their um, beliefs. Huh, that's exactly. cool. Yeah. Um, so one of the songs that I didn't like as well mm -hmm. was Sunday Bloody Sunday and you knew I was not gonna like it before you gave me the song I think you just I didn't think you would like it because I thought it was a little raw and a little yes. yelly but um, it wasn't so much of the lyrics that I didn't like about it it was the screaming of the <laughs> lyrics I'm just like dude my throat hurts trying to Don't scream you, with you I guess you're not singing um, along and um it wasn't a song I just couldn't sing along with and it wasn't something that energized me in a positive way fair so i just wasn't a fan of it well i mean the song is about you know the difficulties in the troubles mm. in ireland you know between the yes. process i mean it's a that was an actual day where people died like yes. it's not a happy song it's not a sing-along kind of song you know so many of their songs are about these kind of deep social issues mm -hmm. and you know um, injustices so you're not always like, I love sing along with injustice. Like that's yeah. not really what, you know, it's not a very um, exciting thing to do. Talking about something exciting though. Okay. I did like the angels of Harlem. Okay. Um, I actually liked this song the first time I listened to it. Yeah. Started liking it more as the second time I heard it, third time, fourth time, cool. fifth time, to a point where I was caught by my husband while I was making dinner in the kitchen <laughs> singing the song without it being played and i was starting to be able to get lines and lines after lines and he cool. started saying you're singing you too <laughs> and i was like oh my goodness i know enough of a song that someone else could recognize that i was singing some of the lines 
So I was quite proud of myself. I am proud added. of you too. That's, um, a, that's a perfect time for us to talk about your rating of the band. Ah, yes. So earlier you said that you would you didn't know, you didn't have any familiarity. No. Now you have some familiarity, you have a little foundation. Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to 10, with one being you wanna throw the music in the garbage and if you never hear it again, that would make you happy. Mm -hmm. To 10 being, wow, you love them, you want all their music and you wanna make sure your daughter grows up knowing who they are. Okay. Where would you place you two? I wouldn't put it as a one. That's good. <laughs> but for right now, um, my daughter's only four. Okay, so, in the future. But in the future, yes, yes, yes. But I really, I don't know if I could lab label it as a 10 because there are some songs within the mix that I listened to that I just wasn't a fan of. Sure. And that um, by the end of the week, I skipped. Um, but honestly, I would say maybe a six or a seven. That's awesome. I think that's very fair um, and very accurate. And you said there were a couple albums you, that all that you can't leave behind and Joshua Tree. You'd be yes. interested in listening to more of those. I actually do want to buy those albums um, and put them on my, mm, I wouldn't say my iPhone, but maybe like <laughs> on my your phone. laptop. Yeah. yeah. Put them on another Spotify account. Well, I count this as a Personal. huge, huge victory. We're going to finish our first episode with this disclaimer that yes. this is not to make fun of you. No. But this is about music and how great music can connect us to feelings and ideas and to each other. And so Rachel and I just encourage you, our listeners, to share music with someone you love today and like us on Facebook, Twitter, and rate us on iTunes. Yeah. All right. Thanks for listening. Talk to you guys next week. Bye.